Hello and welcome to today's physical chemistry lesson with Cyfox. Today's task is 1323 and it concerns alum in water and how supersaturated solutions react. The question here is the solubility of alum in water is 44 gram per 100 grams of water at 50 degrees Celsius. A solution of alum in water at 80 degrees Celsius is formed by dissolving 130 gram in 100 gram of water. When the solution is slowly cooled to 50 degrees, what is the solution? Is the solution unsaturated, saturated or supersaturated? And my answer to that, and the correct answer obviously, is supersaturated because an because at 50 degrees it only can contain 44 grams per 100 gram of water so there is 86 gram of excess alum in that solution. And the next question is if you take a metal spatula and scratch the side of the glass vessel that contains cooled solution and crystals start to appear, what had just happened? Um, first let me explain how supersaturated solutions work. They only exist because the molecules aren't properly aligned to crystallize. And if you uh, and if you scrap the glass vessel, seed crystals, already, uh, so already aligned molecules, start to appear and make it easier for the solution, uh, for the crystals to appear because they are already aligned molecules that uh, allow them to uh, crystallize properly. So it kickstarts the whole reaction of crystallizing. And the last question is, at what equilibrium mass of, crystal, uh, of crystals do you expect to form? And as I already said, there's 86 gram of, ex, uh, of excess alum, so I expect um, 86 gram surplus alum to, be, uh, to crystallize at 50 degrees. And uh, to say something about alum, alum is a pretty interesting molecule that was used in the Middle Ages to dye clothing. Today, other substances su uh, such as alum sulfate are used instead of it, uh, but it's used today in deodorant and uh, other and other cosmetic aspects such as the uh, sha uh, the shaving stone, uh, which uh, stops blooding if you cut yourself when you shave. 